If you have an iPhone, there is a native reminders app that I really like. When you open it up on the main screen here, you can search for a specific thing. So maybe I wanna see any quizzes that I uh, have coming up. If it has the dot filled in, that means that it already happened. So you can see that on your completed uh, tasks as well. It's the end of the day, so I don't have anything on the today reminders. However, you can always add a reminder to each list. So uh, maybe this reminder is to uh, put supplies, oh, uh, put supplies in my backpack. Okay, and done. Um, also, whenever you are making lists, if you're already typing in for an item, if you just hit return, you can create your new one and just keep going there. Uh, so this one, I also need to, let's say, pack lunch. If you click the I in the circle to the right, you can make other, you know, little notes. Maybe I want to make sure of what items I'm putting in my lunch or I want to make sure that I take care of that by a certain time. So I'll pack my lunch at midnight for some reason. Uh, and you can also add priority um, and put it on a specific list as well. So any list that you do, um, as long as you, uh, you know, have it set for that day, then you would have it uh, populate on the today list. Um, and actually, I did end up making that for noon. Um, and since it is after noon, then I have this showing up as red. And that obviously means that I have not taken care of that thing and it is overdue. You also can look at scheduled, which shows today and tomorrow and then what's going on for the next couple weeks. And you can look at all of them together, all of the main lists. Or, of course, check individual lists to, you know, add a bunch of things in one list without having to worry about adding uh, which one it is. Or you can do the same thing with all. Let's see here on my daily check-ins, I'm going to add third period and make that for tomorrow. And I'll put that one at uh, 9 o'clock. And these are out of order, that's gonna bother me. So if I hold down and drag, I can put them in order. Now for the daily check-ins, I only put a specific time on third period, but one thing I also want to do is make sure that they repeat so that I do not have to go every single weekday and create new check-ins, uh, check-in click boxes. So the buttons, the three dots in the upper right corner, when you click that, you can select multiple reminders. So I'm going to click all of my daily check-ins. The bottom left here has the calendar with a clock in front of it. And I can make this, it's already on for tomorrow. I'm not gonna bother with specific times because they're all different class periods. But if I go to repeat, and uh, you can do frequency there. We're gonna say, uh, go back and go to weekly. And for some reason, it pops back whenever you click weekly. But then when you go back there, if you click custom, you're able to choose every single weekday and go back and back again. And that is going to show up then every single weekday when I need to do those daily check-ins. Um, you can have it go forever, or if you want to stop the repeat, let's say I know that the end of school, uh, for example, we're going to say, I'm not looking at my calendar, we're going to say it's May 28th, and then that will, you know, automatically stop adding those on at that time. So now that I've hit done, you'll see that it has changed to all of these are happening tomorrow and also that it happens on weekdays. So let's say I go ahead and take care of my first period check-in and you'll notice that it changes the date whenever you take care of that. So if I somehow was able to take care of my daily check-ins multiple days in a row, every time I click the button, it will advance that one extra day. 
So that is a really great thing to do for something that you do every single day, uh, like the daily check-ins. For my tests here, one thing that I would want to show is how to make these uh, different priorities. So my tests obviously are going to be high priorities. That shows the three exclamation points in the front. And for my projects and essays here, I've made the final essay deadline the high priority, the rough draft due date at a medium priority. For the persuasive outline, if I click that and go to the I, you can choose that as a low priority, and that should show one exclamation point uh, once I finish this. Also, if I accidentally have it on the wrong list, I can change it to a different list at that point too. So there we go, I've got the three different exclamation points there. The main thing for that is, especially like let's say I'm looking at my today list or especially my scheduled, it's going to show everything in chronological order no matter what list it's on. So I have all of my, uh, I have a test tomorrow uh, in history and I have, you know, my persuasive outline is gonna be due as well. And as you go forward, you see those different uh, markers of when things are going to be due and what is most important. Uh, you'll notice as well, because I clicked some of these uh, check-ins a little, a few times, they're going further ahead in the days. So if I click my seventh, sixth, all of these from today, they move down to tomorrow as well. So that's another way that you can see whether you have gone ahead and done that. You also can show completed, which probably would get very messy if I do this on all of my uh, lists together, but maybe if I accidentally uh, checked one of the daily check-ins, if I show completed and then unclick those, it'll go back up to the list and I would be able to recheck them whenever I do actually finish it. Now, uh, this is really great. And uh, one thing too is of course you can use Siri to add reminders. So you can say, you know, remind me to uh, pack my lunch tomorrow at 7 p.m. And it will put that in your general reminders list. If you say to add something to your groceries list, that will also go to a specific list as well. Um, and here the red dot there is showing that I have two things that are overdue, and that was putting my supplies in my backpack and packing my lunch. So click that and we're good to go. Um, you also, however, uh, can add widgets not only to your uh, widget page, which is when you scroll over all the way to the left, but you can add those widgets on your home screen as well. So if you hold down, like you're going to change uh, and rearrange your apps, the plus sign in the upper left corner, this is also the same way you would add widgets to your widget page. But when I click that plus sign, I would search for reminders and you choose whichever size works best for you. I imagine this square seems a little bit too crunched, if you want to make sure that you can fit more apps on your screen, the uh, shorter one here is good. And then of course there's the full size. If you have a lot of things you need to see at once. So I'm going to add this widget. When you hold down, uh, it will allow you to change what list it is as well. So maybe I want this one to be what's happening today. And you can also make this a stack, which you are able to uh, swipe through. So let's say I choose uh, this square size though. One thing to keep in mind is you cannot stack things that are a different size. So you'll see these are just kind of sliding past one another. So I would want to delete this one if I want them to turn into a smart stack. And do another reminders, make sure it is the same size. And when I click that, I can change it to however many lists that I want and make them you know in what whatever order that i would like as well so i'm going to do my today my scheduled and i'll have one for my important stuff for my tests now at this point 
um, it would start moving over into my other pages. So I'm going to go ahead and start stacking these. I think what will happen is, okay, so the one that you stack on top of is going to be the very first one. So I've got here, my today is the top, then tests, and then scheduled. You also can, if you don't like the order of things, if you hold down, you're able to adjust, here we go, just tap. Um, you're able to adjust which list is where. Now, one thing I don't like is it just says list, so you do have to kind of remember which list is in what order and play around there, maybe moving only one or two at a time. So then I have my today, my scheduled, and my tests. One thing, uh, last thing that I wanted to point out, uh, my English test here at the bottom, I do have that scheduled. Ooh, there we go, done. I do have that English test scheduled, and in the reminders it shows that it is on the 9th, but whenever I look at the widget, it doesn't show all that due date information, and uh, it also does not show the uh, priority exclamation points. So this might work for me personally because I know everything on my tests and projects are going to be high priority. Now, what I've done to fix this and make sure that I can keep track of when those things are uh, without even having to open the app is in the title, I went ahead and put the, uh, the date that the test will be right after. So this one is going to be on 3-9. And now when I go back to that widget, it will update and have the date there. So I hope that this is helpful and uh, that you can use this as a tool to be successful 